Okay, let's take a little look around this uh, beautifully original um, N registration uh, Rover P6 2200 TC manual. Um, finished in paprika with um, sort of brownie beige box pleat interior. So beautifully original car. Um, the only changes to it would appear to be it's got a full length uh, Webasto type sunroof as you can see there. Also got that sticky bit on the window. Get rid of that. Um, what else do we have that's been changed on it? Nothing else really. Um, it's got mud flaps. Oh, it's got a full uh, full tow bar with double electrics on it as well. Um, now, walking around it, the paint on this one is, I'm pretty convinced it's absolutely original. Um, we've just given it a good polish to bring it up to uh, up to scratch. In fact, I can see a bit of polish that's been missed off there, just on the bottom of the door. Um, I really think, apart from uh, an area on the bonnet where it's you can just see it's been painted in round there probably to sort of uh, some stone chips or something um you just see a very slight flare in the paint just round there aside from that obviously the sills will have been uh, redone in black at some point but apart from that i think the paint is 100 percent as it left the factory um there's no just careless areas on here but we haven't quite to get rid of the polish properly but that's about it but fantastic car really really nice um We'll go around in a bit more detail. Bonnet's lovely. As I say, you've just got a slight to uh, see very slightly a, a paint difference just in, in the arc there around the badge. Uh, but apart from that, the bonnet got a couple of minor marks on it, but no more than you'd expect given the mileage. Um, chrome is nice and original. Not badly pitted really. There's a couple of tiny marks just coming up on it here and there, but uh, that's about it. Looking down the near side, beautifully straight and clean down there. All the panel fits are good. Um, near side front wing, if you want to be really picky, it's got a one inch scratch just here on the um, uh, on the seam where it goes over, not seam, well, on the crease just there. Scratch sort of there and there, about an inch long. Um, looking at the near side, this is all good here. The roof is all nice. The, that sunroof is in great shape actually. That, uh, um, the vine was very good. Passenger door is very good. There's one or two, just one, two, three, four tiny sort of, it's just starting to bubble up just on the very back corner of the near side front door. Um, it looks like it's had a tiny bit of paint down there in the past because there's a little bit of overspray on the rubber just down in the corner there. Um, interior wise, in the front here, it's lovely. Uh, the seats are all in good shape. Perhaps could do with a, a tiny valet, but that's about it. Uh, carpets look to be the originals and they're all in good shape as well. Dash is nice, there's a plaque on there for a national rally thing. The original radio is in there and that all works nicely. Um, I think really the only thing I can fault on it interior wise in the front, the, uh, the gear lever gate has got a small split in it. Um, oh, and the clock isn't working, that's about it. Uh, so door shut with a satisfying clunk. Near side rear door is very nice indeed. Down the bottom is a couple of tiny bubbles once again, just on the very bottom of the, the, the near side rear door. Um, that all looks nice in there. Uh, although I suspect it's probably possibly had a bit, a bit of paintwork on the doors, but uh, some while ago by the look of it. Um, it's all nice in the back there. The only thing I can criticise, the sun has got to, you can see it just on the back of the near side rear seat there, it's just split the vinyl on the back of the... Um, near side rear seat base just along there. It's got a heated rear window this one. Um, near side rear wing is nice as well. Uh, one, once again there's a sort of one inch scratch just there on the uh, on the near side rear wing. Um, chrome on the rear bumper is pretty good. That's all nice. Uh, the boot lid is fine. Nothing untoward there at all. Um, Offside rear wing and down the offside it looks once again beautifully straight down there. No uh, problems or issues. Offside rear wing is nice. There's a couple of big paint chips, just uh, sort of a big paint chip just there where my finger is. Another one just there on the lip of the, uh, um, the, lip of the arch. Um, another one just there actually, just on the front of the, uh, front of the offside rear wing. Offside rear door is all nice. Um, in the back there, that's all good as well. So I could just do the, a valet, really. Um, we'll just evacuate the carpets, which uh, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to do before it goes out. 
but it smell nasty inside or anything like that. A little mildew. Um, driver's door. It's just a couple of minor marks just down the bottom here on the um, uh, on the base of the driver's door, but uh, nothing untoward really. Oh, another tiny one on the base of the off of the offside rear door. Um, that's about it. This mirror uh, is a f is functional and effective, but frankly horrid. But I think you could probably remove that and fit a more period uh, style door mirror in its place there. But um, it does do the job. But uh, as I say, not really in keeping with the rest of the car. Um, offside front wing is nice. Um, there's a large chip out of it just there on the inner edge of the off of the uh, offside front wing. Big chip there down to the primer. Um, but no, bodywork is absolutely lovely. And I say, if it has been painted. Uh, it's a long time ago um, because it's, it's, a, it's got a nice patina about it, uh, but it's not, you know, orange peel or anything. The only area I can see that uh, definitely we've had paint work, as I say, is on the front edge of the bonnet. Um, but uh, you should see it for yourself and uh, judge for yourself. Inside on the driver's side, all the door cards are lovely and original. Um, the driver's seat is nice. The box pleating at this sort of mileage, and this one's done, showing 89,000 miles. And the chap we got it from is quite a heavy guy as well. The box pleating has sort of started to lose a bit of its shape, but um, I think you can expect that really. Uh, but no, the interior is a, a very, very civilised, lovely place to be. Um, I've done under, um, over 100 miles in it and it was spot on. Just a, a cracking a cracking P6 really. Okay, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any uh, queries or questions with regard to this um, rather nice uh, P6 2200 TC manual. End.